Ray here with Prophezine Survival for Christians. Hey folks, how's everybody been doing? A uh, long time no see. The reason is, is my my video cameras are, are breaking on me. I got a dead uh, Hi8 that's dead now. Um, other camera, which is a little DVD mini cam, um, I'm wanting to do about two, four minute long videos or so, and every time I use that, I have to format the disc, which means I I have to basically eat, you know, 20, 20 or so minutes on on each little mini DVD. I was looking for a solution, and I had one of these little funky ball cameras, and it just it, it just doesn't work well. You know, after a while, my voice starts to to get out of sync with my mouth, and, and so it was just not a good solution. I'm going to be watching one of the other YouTubers, and I noticed that uh, he said he uses a Canon SureShot. And I said, hey, I've got a Canon SureShot. I can use one of those. Hey, so that's what I'm doing right now. You are watching me on my little inexpensive Canon SureShot video camera. Well, actually, it's just a regular old uh, picture camera. I had no idea that it even shot video. So that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm giving it a try here and seeing what we can do. What I want to do here is kind of explain what we're going to be doing at Provisine Survival for Christians. Folks, this is a, a show that is not for the Johnny Rambos out there or Special Forces or any of the Spec Ops guys or anything like that. This is for everyday, regular old people, just like you, just like me, and uh, I'm going to talk about preparedness. I'm going to talk about gear reviews. I'm going to I'm going to show tips. I'm going to show tricks. I'm going to show real world stuff. You know, for all you guys who are into the tactical and and all that stuff, um, go watch Nut and Fancy. I'm, I'm sure you've got them bookmarked already. Um, I love Nut and Fancy, by the way. Great show, great reviews, great tips, um, great uh, great stuff. But he's he's a little bit out of the out of the um, framework that I want to work in. My goal is to really work with the people who are are um, Johnny Homemaker, Mommy Homemaker. And and you know the just the regular everyday you know middle class income folks living in suburbia, and what I want to do is help you all uh, get prepared. There's a coming storm here coming, folks, and everybody is seeing it. Even the heathen is is understanding and and, and reading the writing on the wall. And so those of us who who are prudent and and have a good understanding of where this world is going, understand that uh, hard times are coming no matter what. We are living in the last days of the last days, and you know, I'm not one to believe that you know one day you know, we're life's going to be all grand and happy, and we're just going to be skating along, and boom, all of a sudden the rapture happens, and the next day is tribulation, and AC's on scene, and uh, all hell is on earth. Um, I'm just it, that's not human nature. That's not the way things work. We things work in steps. Um, things take time to be built up and, and take time to be implemented. What we're seeing is we are seeing the stage being set, but I don't know if the whole stage is set yet. Knowing that things are, are getting bad, specifically here in the United States, and and. Uh, we're seeing a lot of negative things take place, especially being uh, levied against Christians. What I do see, though, folks, is that a storm is coming, and we as prudent individuals that love the Lord, love God's Word, and want to see the gospel shared throughout the world and in this nation, we need to prepare. I'm one who believes that we need to prepare and, and have credibility in regards to sharing the gospel. And I, I can't see people sharing the gospel and, and standing in soup kitchen lines. No credibility. So what is going to set us apart? We need to prepare. We need to be like Noah. Noah foresaw the storm coming. God didn't come down there to go, bing, and a, an ark suddenly appeared. Noah had to build his ark. He had to prepare. He had to do what he had to do to have his health, help his family's health and welfare taken care of and, and weather that storm, as well as save a bunch of animals, too, two by two. Uh, look at Joseph, same thing, same situation. Had seven years of, 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 of famine that he had to prepare for. Now he had seven, seven years of good to prepare it for, but God didn't come down and go bing and instantly fill his silos and, and stock up the, the, the cellars and everything like that. That's work that Joseph had to do. And because of these two men, look at what the outcome was. They've, they've saved millions of people. Um, 
and in fact created the the the, the Hebrew nation. So, um, folks, hard times are coming, and we as prudent Christians, we need to be good stewards of what God has given us. He's not going to come down and plant $20 bill trees in our backyard, nor is he going to rain pennies from heaven. God gave us a brain. God gave us good hands to work with. These are the things he's provided us, and we need to be good stewards of those, and we need to, to basically prepare for the storm. So that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want to help you guys with, and that's what this channel is dedicated to, is to helping you prepare for the coming storm prepare for for this financial disaster that is coming our way and it's going to wreak havoc on this nation then we're basically going to be prepared for almost anything else that can be thrown at us um, there are going to be other issues that i will talk about later on down the road such as emp uh, dirty bombs and uh, nukes and stuff like that but my main focus you know those are things that that can happen yeah that's out there but i see definitely on the horizon within the next six months to a year a serious financial depression coming to this nation and a lot of the financial pundits are backing me up on that one too so that is what is coming down the pipe here folks and we got a, a, a six month minimum maximum I give about a year before everything starts breaking loose and I'm going to start referring to something called bank day and one one day I believe that we're going to wake up and all the banks are going to be closed I believe that uh, your credit card isn't going to work anymore and the ATMs are not going to be turned on. And so when that happens, can you imagine nationwide what would take place if bank day happened? So remember that term, bank day. Um, the goal is to, to weather that storm because it is coming. And another thing I want to do here, folks, is do gear reviews. I'm, I'm all about gear. Uh, gear is just just a part of what's going to help you get by. You know, just because you have a lot of cool gear and a lot of gadgets and everything, ain't going to get you by. You're going to have to have knowledge and understanding, and then the wisdom to use them and know when and how to use them. And what I want to do is I want to review with you here my first little gear review, which is Smith's Dual Edge or Two Edge uh, knife sharpener. Folks, this is the greatest little knife sharpener <laughs> in the world. Excuse me. slide but this is the greatest little knife sharpener in the world um, I've, I've gone through one of these already and uh, real easy to use you uh, also folks if you don't have a knife that you don't carry a knife with you every day start learning to carry a knife with you every day this is one of the most important tools that you can have on you at all times uh, I'm going to start talking a lot about what's called everyday carry this is one of my number one items in the everyday carry kit a knife get carrying one Go out, buy yourself a good knife, carry them. Don't be spending hundreds of dollars for a knife either. Fifty bucks will buy an excellent, excellent knife. Look into Cold Steel, Cold Steel Knife Company. Awesome, awesome company. But anyways, this is a 511 Tactical and um, knife sharpener. Real easy to use. Just slide it through. Anybody can do this, folks. Anybody can do it. And I sharpen my knives all the time. I keep my knives razor sharp. In fact, here, look right here look at that razor sharp that's how you keep a knife sharp and a sharp knife is a safe knife and how I keep them sharp is with Smith's that's what I recommend you can buy them at Walmart for about 350 um, get them on Amazon for about five uh, I order a lot from Amazon because we live out here in Texas Hill Country and we only got Walmart to choose from nothing else out here and you know Walmart doesn't carry everything so I do a lot of, shop, of my shopping on Amazon. So that's where I got this. Amazon, about $5.50, something like that. Totally worth it. Razor sharp knives, as you can see. Shaved me a nice clean edge right there. Um, get them. Get it. That's what you need. And uh, we'll see you soon, folks. And welcome to Prophecy's Survival for Christian. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to this project. All right. Have a good day.